And this is a file where we've been recording um, our spending, um, spending on uh, on tech. And if we wanted to add a new row, then we'd have to do what I'm doing here, which is to scroll down, position our cursor and then type into each cell. So rather than doing that, if I click on this button here that says new entry, it brings up a form. So it, it runs a macro. Now, I could do that a different way. I could go over to the developer tab. I could go to macros and I could run the macro that's called display form because that's what that button does. That button has been programmed so that when you click the button, it runs the macro called display form. So let me type in a date of, let's say, the 27th of the 4th, 2012. Say the item was a three terabyte hard drive. Category is hardware. Purchased from the Apple Store. The amount, say, 300. And it was spent by the kids. The kids need uh, a backup drive for all their music. Click on Submit. And what it does is it automatically takes me to the next blank row and adds the data in there. So if you're looking for some kind of automated data entry, then something like that is a, a way to do it. Uh, have a button or just run the macro, but having a button is the quickest way to do it. Have a, a customised form and um, when you fill it all in and you click OK, it goes to the next blank row and puts all the information in.